What is the crack and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to do weapon purchases. This is the second part to the weapon wheel. So if you haven't seen me make the weapon wheel, you might want to go back and watch it. You don't have to, but it is advised. This video was suggested by Disputin GB. I hope I said that right. I'll just dispute close enough. I really don't know how to pronounce the name. I'm bad with it. But um yeah, this is what I have, this is what I have, so this is what you guys are going to be learning how to make today. So, when you press I, it shows uh, your cash is currently zero. You go over to these coins, pick them up. You don't, at the moment, you don't pick them up. I can add that in. It's just a one line of code extra, but you run over them. The reason I have it where they don't disappear is because I only made the five or six coins and it isn't enough to buy a weapon. So now I have I have 310. So as you can see, I have a cube. I click here. 100 is taken away. You can change the number to whatever you want. Buy another one. Buy another one. And I don't have enough to buy the next. A thing I might add in a third part of this is once you buy a weapon, you have it. And you don't have to go back and rebuy it when you buy a new weapon. So I kind of have it set up kind of like call of duty zombies but you only have one weapon instead of two so hopefully everything is showing okay on the screen so this is what i have i have if you, like, this is why i was saying i advise you to go back and watch the um the first part of this because all it is i've added like eight lines of code not much probably 10 ish but all i added was um fair money unity uh or not unity ui.txt i haven't done a video of this in a while so i am sorry i actually had to look some of this up because i've been using a lot of uh, c sharp i haven't used java in a long time so i'm a little bit rusty with java but um just ver money ui.txt has to be capital u capital i and then capital t for text then ver current cash again current cash and money can be whatever you so wish and again, it doesn't have to be an int. You can have it as a float and increment it in the whole numbers. Or you can have it where you can then buy bullets, which are going to cost like 0 0.5 per bullet. So it, it's up to you how you want to do it. If you're just going to have a basic buy weapons, this would work fine. But if you want to have where you can buy uh, bullets, buy upgrades that are going to be like 102, 103. Not like 103, but like 100 point tree or just random numbers it'd be good to use a float um then in the update i added money.txt which is the ui.txt is equal to the current cash which is the flow or the int uh two string the t in that has to be capital and the capital has to be a capital s also and then you just do the close brackets and the semicolon Again, still haven't learned what these are called, which is not a good thing, but I know what they do, so I don't really need to know what they're called. Um, then you just create a on collision enter uh, function. Again, you can use trigger, so you actually don't collide with them. You just kind of phase through them, kind of like what a Mario game would do. You got, kind of go through the coins. And then if you wanted to delete them, you would go uh, destroy. I'm, I'm not used to... Um, this as as you can see so it would be call dot game object I'm, I'm too used to it actually coming up for you what you're typing on C sharp but that's what you would have so in the uh, on collision I just have on collision enter call the uh, double line thing best coder in the world Collision. Also, sorry, um, I was meant to say this at the beginning. I don't know if there's going to be a stream tonight because, as you can probably hear in this video, there's music being played downstairs. So hopefully this is not being. Hopefully the music isn't being recorded. So I am sorry about that. But um, then you go if call dot game object dot tag is equal to coin. Again, this doesn't have to be called call. You can call that pickle, and then you just change call here to pickle. It, you can call it whatever you want. Most people make this other. So if you collide with an other game object with the tag this, I just like to call it call because that's what we were taught how to use. And then if the tag that you collide with is called coin. Again, 
once you type this, it's good to kind of go uh, control C just so you have it copied and then you know exactly what to make the tag so you don't have to go, did I make it a capital C? Did I make it a small C? Did I do this? Did I do that? It's just easy to do that. And then you can go current cash plus or equals to 10. You could also do current cash is equal to current cash plus 10. That is also a thing, but I'll just do this. Saves a bit of time typing extra stuff out. And then the destroy dot uh, call that game object you don't need to have you could get rid of that I'm just gonna leave it in to show you that it, it will get rid of the coins now hopefully I don't know um, and then we already had the function weapon one two three or three and four all I did was add it in if current cash is greater or equal to a hundred then a squiggly bracket put it an extra one down at the bottom so this wasn't here and this wasn't here so that that was the this was originally just what was in it and then I went in and added current cash minus equals 100 so that'll take away 100 once you purchase it and then that is just if it's over 100 do this function and then just close off the function and then I just put that in all of them again you can go in and make one weapon 150 and then take away 150 here you could go in and make this one 125 and then take away 125 and this one it is all up to you i'll actually show you guys now that all the changes i've done will work and there's also one other thing you're going to need to do let's wait for unity to update boom updated you are going to also want to create a let me just minimize some of this uh you're also going to want to create some coins so i just use a simple square you could you might want to go in and uh, use maybe circles because coins cylinder shapes or it is up to you i'm just going to duplicate a few of these and create a few more because now we have the destroy on so they're going to destroy themselves my tv is about to turn off which is not a good thing so i'm gonna have to hurry this up so and again it doesn't really matter where i put these because they're gonna fall anyway so once you create a coin to create an object if you don't don't know you just go up here object 3d object cube sphere cylinder any of that whatever you want then when you create it click the object go up here to tag click that add tag new tag and then just control v because you copied coin in here it'll remember that and then you won't have to worry about it once that is done go back to the object click it again and coin should be on the bottom make sure you click it so it's ticked and now when we play the game sorry about family so now you will see hopefully when I touch them they should disappear so yeah I'm picking them up you might want to have this again you don't have to have coins you can have it where it is um uh, you shoot an enemy and you gain points it'll send a message if people want that as a future video let me know and then 220 this takes away 150 and then so on and so forth so that is it guys my tv turned off so i had to uh, restart the recording so sorry about that and um, one thing i did forget to say i am sorry about that when you create the ui dot text i completely forgot about this this is the main thing that makes it work you actually have to go to your canvas if you haven't created a canvas yet just go ui canvas i already have one here so i'm just going to go to the canvas you have to create two you don't have to create two you can create one and you just won't have coins beside it or money i created two one is just coins one is zero and then you drag the one you want to display how much money you have into your script which is actually behind my face <laughs> sorry about that so you would just go let me minimize this as you can see here i have a script or a uh, a component that says money and then current cash which is zero because I'm in the game so all I would all I need to do is drag the cash into that and then it will recognize it sorry about that I completely forgot about that part my bad but um 
again you don't even need to pick up money you could if you wanted you could you could cheat it and then bloop go back into the game and they'll have a thousand and eighty a thousand eight hundred and thirty coins but that's it that's a fairly easy script sorry about me showing the uh text part at the end i got a little bit distracted and kind of just wanted to get the video done and over it because of the noise and everything going on in the background so i am sorry about that but um if you guys did enjoy the video please let me know um tell me in the comments if i should add anything else i have there's a few things i have been working on that i haven't got around to making videos yet i made like sticky bombs where you throw a bomb and you stick and then they explode and as you can see that's where one of the bombs were so I think I actually changed them from the sticky bomb to something else. But uh, I've also created a, when you crouch, the game, it's kind of froze because it's just trying to load up the script. You go invisible. Uh, I've created this, which is a random city generator. So as you can see, it the first few are green, green, red, red, blue, red, green, green. So I started up again. And now it's blue, green, yellow, green, blue, blue, red, red. So it's, it's completely random. And then um, you can actually click on them and it'll tell you what the name of it is. That's why it says text and zombies because it'll say the amount of zombies in them. I'm trying to work on a kind of zombie survival game. But um, I believe that is it. I'm, I'll finish the video here. I'll rewatch it before I put it up and make sure I did say everything. So if there's another little attachment at the end of this... It's just me saying what I did miss. But if I didn't, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. Comment, rate, subscribe. There should be a thing roughly about where my face is if you want to click it to uh, subscribe. There's going to be a thing right above the face cam if you want to click it for a random video that is just suggested for you. And if you go over to this side, there'll be all the other... Um, unity videos that i've done but anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it please share it with some people that you think might enjoy it and hope to see you guys in another video real fucking soon bye